So you just bought yourself a new bike. Congratulations! Now before you go crushing KOMs or hitting up club rides, you'll want to get comfortable and acquainted with your bike. Today I'll be showing you some tips and skills to work on for the beginning cyclist. First I just need some coffee. Alright, let's do this! Saddle height. Do I look natural riding like this? Of course not, and neither will you. Saddle height is a common mistake I see being made. Typically no one has their seat too high, but tons of folks have it too low. Does this look right either? The answer is no. I see many people struggling to climb hills or gain speed because of low saddle height. You're basically restricting the movement of your legs, and as we all know, that's what's powering your road warrior. Now look at this, looking good. Without going into too much detail, your knee should be slightly bent at the bottom of your pedal stroke. If your knee locks out, you need to lower your saddle a bit. If you feel too much strain in your thighs, go ahead and raise it up. If you're having trouble getting it right, go to your local bike shop and get a proper fitment. Otherwise, you can sit on the bike against the wall to hold yourself up and get a pretty good setup by checking the bend in your knee. Starting and stopping. Have you ever seen someone fall off while stopping? I have. It's usually because they want to stop completely while staying seated. That's fine and all if your saddle is too low at the improper height, but when it's at its proper height it's totally inefficient to stop seated. What you need to do is stand up off the saddle and move your body over the top tube. As you slow down, go ahead and get your foot ready to land ever so gracefully on the tarmac. Looking good, slick. I've also seen people try to get going from a dead stop while seated. I tried this for the sake of the video and found it nearly impossible. Oh, people do that. Since you dismounted properly like a pro, to get going again, just push off with your foot that's on the ground. And once you have enough momentum for the bike to balance, go ahead and plop yourself on the saddle and ride away like a free bird. Cornering. This is pretty self-explanatory, but a common mistake that we've all probably made is our pedal placement. See how when your inside foot is all the way down in the 6 o'clock position, it doesn't take much leaning to strike your pedal on the ground? This isn't good. Especially for sharp corners, you'll want to drop your outside foot. So if you're turning left, you'll want to drop your right foot, and if you're turning right, you'll want to drop your left foot. Look how much room for error you have now. This also creates counterbalance weight so you don't just topple over while turning. It's also okay to take mild curves with your feet in the 3 and 9 o'clock positions, but just make sure your toes don't hit your front wheel. Riding in a straight line. You won't make any friends at a group ride if you're riding like this, and you probably won't be invited back either. When starting out you may be more comfortable looking down at your wheel, but try to break this habit early. Scan a good 20 feet ahead of you at all times. You will then see danger well before your front wheel strikes it. Looking ahead will also help you maintain a straight line. It's best to practice this in a parking lot. Just ride along the white lines in the parking spaces and try to hold that line. You can attempt this at different speeds so you can get comfortable in different situations. You could also practice on a small curb where the stakes are low if you ride off, but only do this if you're able to catch yourself while bailing. I even twisted my ankle a bit on this one. When riding with others, hold a straight line and be predictable with your riding. Call out any hazards or if you need to swerve or you're going to change paths. Your fellow two-wheel comrades will appreciate it. Thank you. Keep practicing and soon you'll be like an arrow off Miss Everdeen's bow. Bike control and balance. This is probably one of the more fun things to practice. I won't go into too much detail about this, but I like to just practice my balance on the bike without putting my feet down. I have sloppy looking track stands, but these really come in handy at stop signs. Even if you can only do this for a couple seconds, it's far more efficient than stopping completely, putting your feet on the ground, and then taking off again. Turn your front wheel at a 45 degree angle and find your balance point. These are easiest to learn on a slight uphill. As the bike starts to go backwards, just nudge your pedals a bit to stay balanced and still. I obviously need work on this because I change my wheel position a lot, but you know, it works for me. 
I've seen some people do track stands sitting, but nine times out of 10, you're gonna to wanna to stand while doing this. It is also beneficial to practice your slow speed maneuvering. Use some rocks in the parking lot, a backpack, or even your sibling to the circle around. Keep the pedals at the three and nine o'clock position and just rock them a bit to keep momentum and balance. No need for full pedal strokes. You can even have a slow race with your friends. The rules are simple. Start from a dead stop. First person to put their foot down or reach the finish line loses. Alex beat me both times, but it made practicing more fun. So that's it for today. There's obviously a lot more things you can learn, and I may cover those in another video. Like I always say, just get out there and practice, stay safe, and have fun. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. We have a new video every Sunday, so please consider subscribing if you're not. Thank you to Alex for filming with me. If you are into cars, go ahead and subscribe to his channel, Car Show 210. I'll have a link here on the right hand side for you to click and check out. Again, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next Sunday.